So last week I gave you a specific example of how to sweep pick finger style, but this week I thought I'd break it down a bit further and show you some of the basic fundamental techniques behind it and then do three string sweep, four string sweep, five string sweeps, that kind of thing. Um, I also thought it'd be quite fun to show you how it sound, how differently it sounds on the classical guitar versus the distorted the electric guitar. And then I'll switch all the effects off and just show you on the clean guitar first. So let, let's start with the classical guitar. So let's switch the distortion on and see what it sounds like like that. Okay, so hopefully that gives you some idea about the versatility of the technique. Um, let's zoom in and I'll go through the detail of how to use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with an A minor, or the top three notes of an A minor up there and all we're going to do is just play a little four note pattern like that hopefully you can see what's going on i'm playing thumb index middle and then raking down with my middle finger and then thumb yeah create something that we can move okay you probably find actually these little three string patterns are harder to do than the bigger sweeps, but they're good to work with. They're a good, uh, good way of sort of getting used to the technique. Let's see if we can add a G note to the top there. So how am I doing that? And you can see the picking on this end is, is thumb, index, middle, and then I play that top note with my index finger, pull off, and then rake with my index finger again. And similarly, if I want to add another note on that low note, So what am I doing there? I'm playing thumb hammering on, then index middle, then middle rakes all the way down and on that G string as well, yeah? Yeah. And of course I can just join these two together. And the other thing I like to do is to create a moving pattern out of five notes. And all I'm doing here is... So all I do is rake all the way across. So hopefully you can see thumb, index, middle, middle, middle. And of course I can do exactly the same thing with that high note. Okay, so that's the basic structure. We could do exactly the same thing across uh, four strings. So there's our basic pattern again. In this case I'm going thumb, index, middle, ring, and then the ring finger rakes across, yeah? just like before. I can reach out for that top note and just like before. Yeah, or like before I can create that moving pattern. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, so that's four strings. Five strings is a little bit more tricky. <clears throat> so that's a basic pattern, and you can see there my thumb is raking across the bottom two strings. And you'll probably find that this is a useful way of doing this, is to actually lift the heel of your hand up. And you'll probably find that rake is a lot easier if your heel of your hand is up. Uh, much easier is the hammer on. Or oh, that exercise I showed last week. So one particular aspect of this technique that I didn't really cover is how you can use it to create sort of washers of chord sounds as well. And, and the fact that you're playing the low note with your thumb means you can create a moving bass. So you can do things like this. And create really kind of nice sort of effects from the guitar when you do that, especially when you start putting the effects on there as well. Anyway, hopefully that was useful for you and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.